Hello guys! Bago nga pala tayo magsimula, ay siguraduhin na pindot mo ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga ina-upload kong videos. For today's topic, we have the loss of exponents. Dito, pag-aralan natin ang concepts and laws involving positive integer exponents to zero and negative exponents. And let us start with a question, how to calculate exponents? So let's say we have y raised to 4. Ang tawag natin dyan sa y ay base. At yung 4 na maliit sa taas ay exponent. At ang tatandaan nyo lang, the exponent tells how many times to multiply the base by itself. So it means ang y ay imumultiply natin ng apat na beses sa sarili niya. That would be y times y times y times y. So, if we have 2 raised to 5, meron tayong base na 2 at exponent na 5. Ganun lang ulit ang gagawin, i-multiply natin ang 2 ng 5 beses sa sarili niya. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. For the first law of exponents, we have a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n for positive integers m and n. So, kapag nag-multiply tayo ng may parehong base, all you have to do is to add the exponents. For example, m raised to 5 times m raised to 7. So, pareho naman sila ng base, kaya walang problema. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay ipag a natin yung exponent nila. So, 5 plus 7 is 12. So, the answer is m raised to 12. For the next example, we have 3 raised to 3 times 3. Tandaan nyo, kapag wala kayong nakikitang exponent sa number or variable, automatic meron siyang exponent na 1. And let us simplify. So that would be 3 raised to 3 plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to 4. And 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 81. Huwag kayong malilito kapag ganyan yung tinatanong kasi kadalasan ang ginagawa nyo sa exponents ay pinagmumultiply nyo. Okay, mali yun. Meron tayong ibang case sa law of exponents na dapat imumultiply talaga natin ang exponents at hindi ipag a -add. For the second law of exponents, we have a raised to m raised to n is equal to a raised to m n for positive integers m and n. Tinatawag itong a power raised to a power. So, ito yung sinasabi ko na minumultiply lamang yung exponent. For example, we have n raised to 4 raised to 5. So, multiply lang natin yung exponents and that would be n raised to 4 times 5 and equals to n raised to 20. Next example, let's say we have 4 raised to 2 raised to 2. Multiply lang ulit natin yung exponents and it will become 4 raised to 2 times 2 is equal to 4 raised to 4 is equal to 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 256. For the third law of exponents, we have a b raised to m is equal to a raised to m b raised to m for positive integer m. So dito, i-distribute lang natin yung exponent dun sa mga variables or numbers na nasa loob ng parentheses. So to make it clear, let us evaluate this expression x, y, raised to 5. So, sabi ko nung nakaraan, kapag wala kayo nakikita exponent, automatic, meron siyang exponent na 1. So, distribute natin. x raised to 1 times 5. So, that would be x raised to 5. And y raised to 1 times 5 is equal to y raised to 5. So, our answer is x raised to 5, y raised to 5. Next, 3xy squared raised to 4. So, i-distribute natin yung exponent na 4 sa 3, x, and y. And it will become 3 raised to 4, x raised to 4, y raised to 2 times 4. Simplify lang natin yung 3 raised to 4 and that is 81. And y raised to 2 times 4 is equal to y raised to 8. So, for our final answer, 81 x raised to 4, y raised to 8. For the fourth law of exponents, if a is not equal to 0, then a raised to m over a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n if m is greater than n. For the fifth law of exponents, if b 
is not equal to 0, then a over b raised to m is equal to a raised to m over b raised to m. For example, let us simplify x raised to 10 over x raised to 6. So, technique lang natin dito, tingnan nyo yung mas mataas na exponent. Ang mataas na exponent natin dyan ay nasa numerator. So, ibig sabihin, remain lang yun nasa numerator at yung exponent na 6 ay tataas natin o ima-minus natin sa 6. Tandaan nyo, pwede lang natin itong gawin kung pareho sila ng base. Anyway, pwede rin naman yung 10 ang ibababa natin o ima-minus natin dun sa 6 pero magkakaroon tayo ng negative exponent. At i-discuss natin yung mamaya kung paano natin gagawin yon. Pero ang goal talaga natin ay magkaroon tayo ng exponent na positive. Kaya sa pinakamadaling paraan, yung 6 ang ima-minus natin dun sa 10. Ang matitira na denominator natin ay 1 which is hindi na natin nilalagay. So for our final answer, x raised to 10 minus 6 is equal to x raised to 4. For our next expression, dito pagsamahin natin ang second, third, fourth, and fifth law of exponents. 3m raised to 5n over 2m raised to the second power. Dito, dalawang paraan ang pwede natin gawin at ipapakita ko kung paano at depende na lang sa inyo kung ano yung trip nyo sa dalawa. For the first solution, unahin natin dito yung fifth law of exponents which is i-distribute natin yung exponent na nasa labas dun sa mga exponent na nasa loob ng parenthesis. Huwag kayong malilito dun sa nasasakupan ng parenthesis. Minsan kasi ang parenthesis lang ay nasa numerator or nasa denominator. Okay dito, sa example natin, ang nasasakupan ng parenthesis ay numerator and denominator. So, ibig sabihin lang nun, i-distribute natin yung exponent na nasa labas dun sa mga exponent na nasa loob sa numerator at sa denominator. So, unahin muna natin yung numerator. Ito yung raising a power to a power. So, ibig sabihin, ipe-perform natin ay multiplication. So, that would be 3 squared, m raised to 10, n squared. For the denominator, 2 squared, m squared. So, para sa coefficient natin sa numerator and denominator, apply lang natin yung definition of exponents o dun sa how to calculate exponents. 3 squared, that is 9, and 2 squared, that is 4. So, pwede pa ba natin i-simplify? Pwede pa, dahil meron silang parehong variable. At pwede natin i-apply ang fourth law of exponents. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, ang goal natin ay magkaroon ng positive na exponent. Kaya sa pinakamadaling paraan, hanapin natin yung mataas na exponent. At yung mababa na exponent, i-minus lang natin dun sa mataas na exponent. So, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So, for our final answer would be 9m raised to 8 n squared over 4. For the second solution or alternative solution, unahin natin i-simplify yung nasa loob ng parenthesis bago natin i-apply ang fifth law of exponents. So, dun sa coefficients ng numerator and denominator, hindi naman sila pwedeng i-simplify o i-lowest term. So, pwede na agad natin i-apply ang fourth law of exponents sa variable na m. So, minus lang natin yung exponent, 5 minus 1, and that would be m raised to 4. At kung wala nang pwedeng i-simplify, proceed na tayo, apply natin ang fifth law of exponents. So, that would be 3 squared, m raised to 8, n squared over 4. For the final answer, simplify na lang natin yung 3 squared, and that is 9. So, pareha lang dun sa nakuha natin kanina. So, mamili na lang kayo kung anong trick nyo sa dalawa. Next, we have zero exponent. For any real number a except zero, a raised to zero is equal to one. Ibig sabihin, kahit one million raised to zero, it is equal to one. For example, seven x raised to zero. So yung variable na x natin, my exponent na zero, so it is equal to one. Seven times one is equal to seven. Next, we have negative 5 raised to 0. Real number pa rin naman ang negative 5, so it is equivalent to 1. Next, we have 2x raised to 0. Pag in-apply natin ang second law of exponents, i-distribute natin yung 0 sa 2 at sa x. That would be 2 raised to 0, x raised to 0, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Next, we have negative exponent. 
where a is not equal to 0 and n is any real number, a raised to negative n is equal to 1 over a raised to n. So yung variable or number na may negative exponent, kung nasa numerator siya, magpupunta siya sa denominator and the exponent become positive. Kung nasa denominator naman, magpupunta lang siya sa numerator at ang exponent pa rin ay magiging positive. For example, 2 raised to negative 2 raised to 3. It will become 2 raised to negative 6. Nasa numerator siya dahil automatic meron tayong over 1 dyan. I-move lang natin siya sa denominator and negative 6 become positive 6. 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. So our final answer is 1 over 64. Next example, we have 2 raised to negative 2 x squared y cubed over 4 raised to negative 1 x raised to 0 y raised to negative 2. Unahin natin yung mga negative exponents. I-move natin sa numerator or denominator. So yung 2, i-move natin sa denominator and the exponent become positive 2. At yung 4, i-move natin sa numerator and the exponent negative 1 become positive 1. Then yung y, i-move natin sa numerator and the negative 2 will become positive 2. Next, yung 0 exponent which is the variable x will become 1. Sa numerator, may common variable tayo na y. Apply lang natin yung first law of exponents. Add natin ang 3 and 2. And that would be y raised to 5. So 2 squared is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And for final answer, x squared y raised to 5. Kung may mga questions kayo or examples na hindi nyo masagutan or nalilito kayo involving laws of exponents, comment nyo lang sa baba.